Hey everyone, this is Bill as the Man, continuing session 20 of our Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition game, The Ancient War Reborn. I'm your DM, JVD. I am Evan the Great from the Villains of the Man. I'm playing the Luna Silver String, the Elven Bard. Uh, 49 hit points, but she can do a lot of cool shit. And I am not, I don't have a hangover no more, so yay. You go with that Boa. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Whatever I'm starting to wake up. I'm the Bearded Wonder with the Villains of the Man playing Vesper Nork, the Moon Elf Rogue, and we just uh, kicked some Zent ass. We did. See, I left that part for you. Yeah, because you're the Zent guy. I am. Gal. Zent. Gal. Gal. Did you get a Zenner? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Smiley playing all the way to the Um. He's doing pretty good. How about y'all? Great. Yeah. I'm playing all that I've worn. His arm falls on. Take off this. Luda, give me the recap. All right, so we come into the place of Loud Loudwater. Mm-hmm. Um, we come here uh, on a ship provided by Claw. We land. Cloth Industries. We get into. I don't know why I'm giving the recap from last plus this, but I am. That's what I do. So we wind up landing. We get. Into Does city. anybody know what you do, really? <laughs> Um, he is. Does that uh, answer your question? Yeah. When we get to the city. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that did happen. And uh, uh, we find out that there's undercover. Well, I don't know if undercover. They're 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 paying the Centaurian to protect them from the Stone Giant. Uh, that's what we just found out during last session. Do did you find we, that out? I thought he told us that. He said we're protecting. The town. Oh, oh, my bad. So yeah, he said. You said they were protecting the town. Yeah, you haven't found out anything. Apparently. They're protecting the town. Uh, we storm in, guns are blazing once we find out Zatari's here. Then we find out that. And then we have this big war inside the, I guess is, is where he, uh, the command post. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, one of them turns invisible and gets away. And the other guy darted and gets away. There's a lot of dead bodies. There's three un- guards unconscious that we did not kill because we don't think there's Zents. And we're all out in, the, I guess, the courtyard right now, and that's where we left off. Uh, yeah, everybody had kind of ended up in the courtyard, except for, I'm assuming it was to say back yeah. with you. Yeah. All right, and then you'd come out, you know, said what you're doing. Uh, when you looted the guards, you found it in the, between the guards and the zents that you'd killed, you found 20 gold altogether. I won't, I won't loot the guards. The ones that are still alive. Well, then I'm going to say you got 10 because I wrote 2d10. I did tie them up, but I, I didn't say I looted them. Okay. Do you want to check um, for the Zent symbol? Yeah, can well, I check no, the guard for the Zent symbol? Well, um, well, you were just kind of looting them and then you come outside. Okay. okay. But um, the, none of the guards have it. The guy that you did shoot that Roland was fighting, he does have a Zentarium tattoo. The other three guards do not that oh. were with him. Well, then I'll slit. And then the other guys do have Zentarian. I will slit his throat. Okay, I can't. I'll no one, there is no one there to stop. You. Yeah, I'll do because it. Because they both, everybody went down each hallway except for you and Rusty. Yeah. I'll just slit his throat right there. Okay. Um, or is besides that, uh, there's a long sword and some short swords, spears. I don't think there's anything weapon or armor wise these guys carry that you guys would use. Um. But you guys are outside. So I'll put it all in the bag of um, As I said, you've drawn a crowd. Yeah. They said the guy in black had disappeared. Um, you see uh, a lot of confusion. And uh, because Vesper had yelled dragon while you guys were running here. And then she's firing crossbow shots into the crowd and whatnot. And I mean, you see a lot of confusion and a lot of fear going on right now. I just want to tell them, I'll be like, Listen, we discovered that the Zen were controlling you and strong arming you and your businesses here and the people of Loudwater be like, if you do not wish our help to end the reign of terror that the Zen's have on your town, then we shall leave, if that is the people's wishes. But if you would like, we will help you rid the town of the Zentaro. Uh you guys got anything to say? Hey. No, no, that's Oh, oh, here's the green. Bol- uh, bolstering her. Um, Roland, Luda. <laughs> you guys want to add to this? Uh, if they do not wish our, our aid, we will not force it on them. Um, you're hearing whispers. Uh, 
or this crowd of people, and you start to see more and more people from Loudwater get behind this group. Loudwater, like I said, it's about the size of green. It's a good 400 people here. You know, those crowds get a little bit bigger, and uh, you just hear whispers back and forth of everybody like, well, who's going to protect us now? You know, they were keeping the stone giants at bay. Um, you see a lot of panic on people who, that are bandaged up, and you're starting to assume that maybe these guys are refugees from Oral Bar and, you know, places you planned on going. Um, you, the one that's really spoke up, Vesper, throw me a persuasion. What do you have it? What do you have it, man? when you want to <laughs> oh, I mean, you just beat up some guys that protecting them. I mean, she's covered in blood. But also extorting the fuck out of them. It's price to say anything. Well, who says anybody didn't want that if they were getting protected, too? A flip. It's nothing to really calm the people's fears. I mean, it sounds out of the middle of nowhere, and most of these people don't even know what the Zents are. You know, and... Um, oh, well, do I, do I see a look of confusion when I... There's a lot that? of look of confusion and fear amongst everybody. I'll tell them my story. It kind of looks like we... Tell them your story. I'll just tell them that um, when I was younger, we lived in uh, uh, Waterdeep, right? Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate. How do you not know where you were from? I don't know why I remember. It's been, <laughs> it's been a minute since I looked at my backstory. Um, and my, my mother and father, they owned a restaurant called The Laughing Dragon. And my father did shows to entertain the customers while I, my mother did the cooking um, and provided uh, food for the get, uh, for the people there, like a restaurant. And, um, how uh, she became sick and my father tried everything he could to get her better but none of the potions or anything would work none of the clerics could help at the temples and uh, with him spending all this money trying to heal my mother um, it started eating through the profits of the business so he had to take a loan out and he took it out from the Xantarum and um, everything was okay for a while and then they came and uh, they, they, they came to, I guess, get their money uh, to rough up my father or whatever. They ended up burning down the restaurant. And so they gave us a little leadway to make another payment later. And then um, uh, my mother finally passed away. And there was somebody uh, in town that could raise her, but it took all my father's gold to pay the guy to raise her back from the dead. And when she was raised back, uh, of course, all the money was gone, so we couldn't pay the Zantarum. And then they came and they took all of us and they killed my father in front of me and they sold me into prostitution. And I haven't seen my mother or my brother since. The Zantarum are nothing but pieces of shit, and they all deserve that. Um, still, you see some sympathy among people's faces. But I mean, uh, one person from the crowd will shout out, what does that do to protect us from stone giants? You know, my, my, my town was crushed in, you know, Oral Bar, and then one person, well, I fled, you know, from, what's that town, I can find it here. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're going just to get to Oral Bar just to get crushed there. None of that protects me. I mean, you're really starting to figure out, like, wow, these guys are actually keeping the stone giants at bay. An old man steps out from the crowd and approaches you, and uh, he tells you the other crowd to, I will cert, you know, I will cert this out. I've done it for many years. It's an older man. And uh, they all, you can see, like, just by their expressions that they understand him. Like, they, they, they have a lot of trust in this man. He just shoes them all away, and you know they just slowly, you know, some will look back on their shoulders, and this crowd dispersed. And, uh, it's an older man; he's in his sixties, and uh, he introduces himself as Arter Glesk. Ardor. Uh, yeah, Arter, A R D E R, oh, okay. Glesk. And, uh, he tells you, um, said, I've been assistant to many of the high lords here in Wildwater throughout my assistance. My assistance, my existence. Tells you, uh, not once did I ever think Talbar to be a crooked man. 
and he says, uh, young lady, I am sorry with your past with the Zint, but the Zint showed none of us any harm. True, they, they, they were costly. He's like, but they did keep the uh, stone giants away. And uh, when he's talking to you guys, he's just kind of looking past you guys and you see him walking into this manor. And as soon as he does, you see him kind of step back because there's a bunch of dead bodies there to the left, you know. There's some guys tied up. He says, well, at least you were smart enough not to kill everyone. Um, as you, some of these guys are have grown up in this town. I, I don't think they're Zeds. Well, we didn't want to harm anybody that wasn't the Zen. That was not our intention. <clears throat> um, he tells you, uh, what's his name here? He tells you, Per Thurston, he was not a Zen. He, he did not deserve death. And this was the guy you first skewered when you came in the door, Vesper. And I will say, I'm sorry, that was a mistake. Um... And he but, said, "He said maybe it was a mistake to maybe uh, burst in here like you did." And he points to the door that's knocked down. I can, get a, little, I can get a little hot-headed sometimes. And we're also walking up when we want to attack Frey sometimes. He, he said, uh, "That's that's something I can do." But yeah. still, it was like I mean, you, you've caused a panic in the streets. I mean, we've had some peace here for months upon months. And even with the crowds from the destroyed towns, and you've come up here and just absurd it all. And it's like it will yeah. take it will take many, many ten days to calm the people down. Now they have no one to protect them, and we do know stone giants have been seen in the area. What's the name of this town again? Loudwater. Uh, Loudwater. Loudwater. I'm gonna ask you if you can send a message to Salzar, my father and ask if he could send aid to protect this town from the order. Protect them from the order? No. Aid from, from the order to protect, order to protect the town. this town. Maybe you said protect them from the order. Yeah. The order of stone giants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <duh. laughs> yeah. That's an order? Wow. <laughs> I can. That's up to you. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. We're stone giants. Well, I mean, we're gather your message of exactly what you want to say. Don't waste words here. So, got to figure everything stone out. Stone giants attack loud water. Or I still don't want to attack the limited one by one. Is Zentarum exploiting them? Uh, Let me run them out. The uh, town needs protection from stone giants. Can you send aid? Um, yeah, I'll basically say uh, Loudwater, uh, the Centaurian have corrupted Loudwater and we have got rid of them, but they need protection from the giants. Can you help send aid? Um, he'll tell you too much for us to handle. He'll tell you, um, send what I can. Everyone stretched thin. He said, We'll do our best. But that's for the storm giants that between us and the cloud giants, we're coming up here to kill. He says, Um, cloud giants, hey, he not all the giants are bad. He says, It's understandable. He's like, but Why would cloud giants be in the area? He's very confused. That's what the Oracle of Amanda, our father, told us. So, uh, he, he, he still looks confused. Who, who's that? Their god. Gods? He said, well, why? Is there somewhere in private we can talk and say this? I, I assume no, no, there's no one here anymore. They are just first. Inside. Hey, you're inside. Yeah. We'll tell them that we went to the temple of the Alpha there. Up in the... Yes. Uh, we explained to them what's going on with the gods breaking the ordinating and that we went and spoke to the All Father at on the spot of the world. Uh, he's very taken aback by it. He's just blown away by this story. I mean, the, he basically tells you the story you're telling him is stuff you hear of a legend of myth. You know, he never thought he would ever encounter anybody ever come across. And he said, even though Telbar was an adventurer himself, he's never heard any such thing like that from him. Uh, tell him of the clouds on Logothicus were coming here to laid vengeance upon for betraying and killing his goodly son mm -hmm. and I tapped the arm and said this was once his son's uh, not down a bit but um, he is this is just so too much for him and he's just like wow and he's got he takes a seat like he, he's an old man this is a lot for him to soak in 
Uh, what about these three guards that you got tied up? Well, two, I should say, two. You have two. One was in Tarvin, so I slid there. No, 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 no. The first card you killed when he came in wasn't in Tarvin at all. No, the right. one you said I saw. Yeah, yeah. The one that was tied up. Yeah, you killed that as in. Yeah, so there's two. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, two. There's two other guards. Uh, you guys want to tie these guys? You gonna leave them tied up, or I figured, uh, uh, I figured right? they were with. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I'll ask Gardner to be like, I'll drop. A we level didn't kill them, so um, they're not zen. I didn't find a tattoo, so they're free to go. I'm going down. I'm gonna drop cure wounds on both of them. Okay. While they're still unconscious. Right. So you hit you, you your little wife. Uh, you are gonna tie them. Yeah, I didn't take their gold. Do you untie them first before you heal them, or do you heal them and then untie them? Probably heal them, and once they come conscious, we'll tell them that uh, we're only here to kill the Zents, and then we'll let them go. I would have put that on Stotch, I just want to heal for you, heal for you, Uh you, you you say that, and they, they kind of get a little bit sporadic, like, because you just attacked these guys, and they're like <laughs> looking for weapons and whatnot. They're a bit, they're freaking out. I was telling them we're only here to kill the Zents. You're free to go. Uh, one, someone says, uh, who, 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 who are Zents? And I'll, their other guard buddy that I slit his throat, I'll show him the tattoo. Be like, he was a Zent. Uh, They're the people that are strong arming your tattoo. Okay, the guy that, the last guy that he dropped is a Zen. He yeah. wasn't dressed like a guard. Oh, he wasn't? The first, okay, the two guys you got, the when you initially came in, yeah, those guys are good dressed regular guards. Oh, yeah. The main they guy. Were all dressed as guards. No, yeah, no, no, no. Those guys that come in last were not dressed as guards. They were clearly Zentarian. Oh, okay. The only guy that was with the guards that was in it was the guy with the long sword and short sword that Roland was fighting with. The other guys you didn't see nothing on, and you killed the, one of them. Okay. Well, I showed the tattoo on uh, that guy that was fighting Roland. I'll also, when, once that happens, I'll ask them how much they knew about this man, where he came from, you know, any information they could get. Oh, he was here. He just kind of got what, um, what I mean. Well, they freak out because they're looking around, and uh, one of them, you know, oh, poor Tarson, why did you kill him? That was a mistake, and we will pay for his funeral and, compensation. Yeah, he, he's a young half-elf, and I mean, they're very torn apart about this. Uh, you, you say something about the Zen, they don't know anything about the Zen. They're asking, who are the Zen? Also, the least shadow of the I've shown their criminal organization. Tegrin is a really big thieves guild across the entire Sword Coast. And halfway towards Marquette. Tell them that's why everything costs so much. Um, Blue will come forth, as I've been quiet for quite some time. But Blue, you had asked who this guy was, like the main guy. Um, they tell you that was Cronton. And he's been here for a couple years now as head of the guard. You know, tell bars put him in that position. Uh, he's a really friendly guy, always bought around or two to tavern. I mean, well, that's what they do. They, they if they act like dicks all the time, time, you wouldn't want them around. I mean, he treated us like family. Yeah, trust me, they killed my family. I mean, they just kind of look at you crazy. Well, Ludo, what was you going to do here? You know, it was I wouldn't be surprised if it was Zen. Uh, she just steps forward, she tells everybody that the Zen. Have been around for a long time. They are uh, they are a criminal organization, like they're Italian. Tell uh, like you're talking about. They are masterfully gifted in the art of like forgery and getting in and pretending to be the good guys. They will help you. I said they will fight off the stone giants. They will make your town prosper until it's time to take it. Well, tell they will your people will be gone. Prosper. They feed off the prosperity. That's what well, they make it, everyone yeah. lives a life of poverty. Well, they, they make it prosperous so they can pour more people in. And the more people they get in, the more people they don't know who the Zents are. They can extort them. And they get it big, and then they extort it all at one time. And then your city will be in ruins, and your family will be gone. All the Zent can load of gold. She also will tell you that um, through my experiences with the Zentarian, and none of them are good, by the way, um, Zentarian are everywhere. All two of them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, Zatari are everywhere. There is way more than what we found here. They're either still in disguise amongst all you people, and I do not want to scare them, but I'm sure that this fucking did. Or they ran away with the other that ran. Uh, Arthur Gillespie sitting there, he's stroking his beard and whatnot. Uh, What's that? I keep a harpus. And he said, he's uh, a. Yeah, let's go. What's a. What's a. It's like a harbor. 
He said, I, he's, like, he's like, well, I know the Harpers. And the Harpers are the good guys, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, the good guys. Now, the Zit are just the opposite. He's not that with them. He says, well, I mean, I understand we're paying them, but they've never done anything wrong to us. He was like, if anything, you guys have come in here and done the worst to this complaint. place. So why was that place so scared all the time? And he, yeah, he said, but, but they scared. never... They, that's what they do. They, they never will. He and said, so, I, he said, I wasn't aware expecting. there was hardly anybody in town that was scared. I mean, it's, I gave the waitress a tip, and she looked over to make sure nobody saw her put the tip in her pocket. I mean, like she was scared they, 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 they tell you the... He said, you know, this, this extortion you talk about... It's only been going on for a couple months now. It's ever since these stone giants have become active. Yeah, because they have That's a reason to starts. extort you that seems like they're still nice people. He said, but these people have been here for years, though. Yeah, that's what they do. They plant themselves in. But, then, but before you didn't really need them, it was just nice to have them. But now that you need them, they charge you exorbitant amounts just for a day's worth of protection. But if you want this in here, we will gladly take our airship and leave. Um, he, we'll skip by all the he said, well, he, he tells you if if there's, he said, well, do you, would you think there are more here? I'm sure yes. there are more here. He said, well, how do we find out? That's the whole I mean, part. he said, how, how do I know you guys really are Zents and you're lying and they're the Zents? Why would we? I mean, I mean, you, you just come in here, you know, gun ho you know, and just for start fighting these guys, who came in through a like, fancy airship with talks of killing dragons and whatnot. Well, yeah, he's them. like, and he's like, I've only heard tales of that, and especially you know from Teldar, and he's never spoken to those Zents and whatnot. And he's never brought any type of violence like this to town. He well, said, "Let him stay." He did. What brought violence to town? Yeah. No, and so precisely. Okay, then why why should I let you stay? Then look at the violence you've brought to my people. We will leave if you wish to be in bed with the Zen. We were staying. He said, "I don't plan on being the Zen." But here's the thing: they've not shown the t level of violence that you have. They've never done us any sometimes, ill will. Sometimes change elicits a little violence. He says, "But we've had change due to them. There's not been a shed of violence. No one has fell to a stone giant, unlike the towns before this place." But is it worth? Is it worth you know, the Stone Giants really wanted this but, place. But here's the thing. I or they, he points to the two guards, were unaware. He said, I mean, you well, can be blissful if you're not. unaware of what's going around. Tell war was not. He says, like, he, says, I, I, he says, it's hard for me to believe he's been a Zen. He's always been good I'm not to saying the people. He's a Zen, but he has sold out his town to the Zen. But, who's, but do you have proof? Proof is right here. What? Where? Where's I mean, Tubor? there's, there's Tobor. Would you obviously? We if you were living talk. by yourself and a bunch of people stormed your home, would you not fight and flee? We tried to talk. He didn't want to talk. No, want to flee. You know. He says, but here's the thing. I have no proof. And then one of the guards, this is Grass Dayflower. He thinks up. He's like, yeah, you're. The bear just burst through the door. How were you supposed to know you were here to talk? I knocked on the front door. Nobody answered. He said, "You did you hear the panic outside? How are we supposed to know? Yeah, because there was a flying snake, which are also well, dead messengers, and I shut it. No one heard flying snake. We heard the townspeople yelling dragon. Yeah, because we knew the Zen were following us. We saw them. So when I shot the snake, I yelled dragon to create a distraction so we'd have a clear path. He says, so why couldn't you just come straight to us instead of yelling dragon? Because they shot me in the side because of the bloody boat. Not a full of boat. They started it. We were just coming here to talk to Teleport. Do any of you use a crank crossbow? Actually, no, both of them do. They shot, they were shooting a river with crank crossbows. I thought they had like actual crossbows. Yeah, they, 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 no, they no, got all the crossbows. We, 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 found out crossbow. about, <laughs> we found out about the Zent, and we were coming here to talk to Telbor about the Zent being in this fucking town, and they followed us because we knew about them, and they shot my, my buddy here. But, but I'm not a Zent, is what he tells you. And well, that's why you're I'm, still alive. I drop a zone of truth. And he I said, said, am I? Yeah. Because last time I checked, your friend here with his giant sword was attacking me. Yeah, but you're only alive because you're not a Zen. He said, really? He said, what about him? That was a mistake. He said, exactly. You come in here, didn't bother to ask questions, and look what happened. I mean, he's only been a guard for a few months. 
What are we going to tell his mother and father? Was it not have that, that you come in here with <laughs> with no proof that it's you a, know the high sword. lord was a zen and you killed this young child? I don't think the high lord's a zen, but he sold your town. But if you think he's a zen, then what reason do you have to bust down the door? And that you snuck in here. I walked through the window. He said, but with what right? I just wanted to go. That's the right mean, thing to do. This is was it? But if you want, if you want this in here, we will gladly leave. I mean, was, was it the right thing to do to kill him when you didn't kill me or him? It's gone to the top. That's what it was wrong. I mean, just because, and we'll pay just because we were paying for protection supposedly, doesn't mean that things were bad here. Yeah, but I'm I'm going to kill all this in. So if your town is part of the problem. I'm sorry, guys. He he said, I "You go tell 400 people her. out there that they're the problem, because they were perfectly happy before you came down on your ship." Well, then you guys can stay happy with his ends. I'm out. So you're just throwing up your hands and leaving, Luda, on oh, Vesper. Yeah. Luda's got, got her arms crossed here. Yeah. So you're just fed up leaving. Yeah. What about her boost? Yeah, she's, she's, she's going, going with you. With Anybody else? I'm not leaving yet. Oh, I'm not somewhere I'm going to be. And they're defending these ends with their every breath. They're not, per se, defending them because here's the thing. They don't know. I mean, they, they, they don't know what a zent is. I mean, for all they know, their town was protected. They didn't know I mean, exactly who they were paying. We've got stuff to do. And... That's where I'm not going to sit around here. I tell you, speaking, is it Stone Giants or right in the middle of where we're going? No, he never, he's meant to TMF. And we, don't, and we don't really know a lot about this until I'm be honest. She's the only one that does. I don't know shit about it. She don't really know a whole lot about it, just what happened to her. I know a lot about the tournament. I know they it's have like, like flight snakes. Feelings. I know, I don't have the I know they're assassins, does. they're cutthroats, they're extortionists. I know them doing nothing good. Oh, no, I, I imagine. But I know they need more to survive. No, I imagine. I mean, yeah. she's got the I've had the strange feeling that the Zentarum. You know, you know, Oddworm is teaching you how to hide yeah, and all that other stuff so you could plot some revenge. That's not so good. Because you know, your father and your friends. It's one of the few friends you've ever known him to have. But I think I heard something about the Zents are against the cult of the dragon coming up. No one said that. I've never heard of that. That's okay. Came up. Well, what? What'd you say? He said something about the Zentarum being against the cult. Yeah, and that's and never came up. They were helping with uh, some of these giants. No. That's why I have this idea of uh, the Zentarum being against the cult. Yeah, that's never came up. 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 Yeah, that's never that doesn't sound like stone. Soul giants are greedy. They're they're nomads for the most yeah. part. I mean, they're they don't they, they don't yeah they don't that's why live off of wealth or anything. That's why whenever you said they're attacking people, I'm like, Diff-? which they Frost believe giants, no, like out of Yeah, yeah, they 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 are not like typical giants. Yeah, giants they, are not like when they're, when they're underground or in their mountain though. homes. None they're the most peaceful really race like ever. Themselves. Yeah, it's just when they go on the surface, they think everything's a dream. So yeah. nothing matters. But there's no giants are acting their self right now. And they're because acting too much like themselves right now. That's the thing. They're doing what they do best to an extreme. Stone giants don't attack people. They make art and statues. <laughs> Could be like, something. Frost giants are raiders. They're raiding the entire continent. Okay. <laughs> but you, but Luda, you just said giants aren't acting like themselves. Well, let's go back to your caravan, and what did hill giants do to you guys? Something that they don't typically do. They're not doing typical measures, but they're doing what they do best. No, they're they're doing, going. Hill giants eat. They're raiding everything for a coordinated to assault. Exactly. And think about yeah, green, no, no, think but, about golden fields too. A coordinated but, assault. But, exactly. but what were those coordinated assaults for? For food to okay, eat. Okay, but that's still, what, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Remember what Arstag said. And all the giants are trying to do everything they can to move to the top of the chain. But you see, I'm talking out of character right now. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm just talking like from my rationale. It's like they're all doing things that they would normally do in ways they don't normally do it. 
But that way, that makes never, sense. Never, that, oh yeah, no, no. I, that I, way I he's never mean. brought them up in the ordinance of the giants, being that that's why they're towards the bottom of the pole. So but why they not? still believe that would get them farther. Yeah, but it didn't work for all these years. Now it's a chance to prove something different. But then why do they keep? Why do the hill giants keep eating? Why are frost giants still raging? Why are fire giants still smithing and crafting? They are. They also do other things. <laughs> they're just trying to get powerful. Why are fire giants way the hell out here searching for artificial weapons under the ground? And because they're making something big. That's what I'm saying. But that's, that's what they do. They know what they do. There's also they're, guys and no, places no, no, that in essence, in essence, that's exactly what they always do. They make stuff. They're known as craftsmen, making armors and arms and militaries and wars and full armies. That's what fire giants do. But they're in their own place doing that. They don't go other places and dig holes in cities and all that. They got a big ass fucking sword blade. Uh -huh. They're making something big. That's what they're doing. What they normally do in ways they don't normally do it. Is so, what I'm saying. So are you guys having this whole conversation right here? No, I was out of character. No, no, right. yeah. Now another thing about these this giant attack. Well, it's sorry where he thought the Zets were in by with the stone giants. Yeah, the Safari and they're manipulative. Yeah. They this could have man has done stupid, something to make a stone Hold on. Are stupid. Are not they could have done something. That they're not stupid. They're not nowhere near as intelligent as Atarian. They could have did something to make these stone giants attack the city. And that's what I'm saying. Well, they haven't attacked this place yet, though. They, that's what I'm saying, but they're, they're attacking places. They could be the cause that's of that. Though. You think, like, folks are smarter than a, a race that derives... Power from knowledge and art. Well, they're not just thugs. These are not well, thugs. That's true. But essentially, they're, they're this whole thieves guild network. Yeah, but you have like people like in high positions that are part of this. They have people everywhere. But the, the only high position we've seen is a guy guild. that may not be Kills part of it. Area too. Yeah, but I've been studying this, and I mean, Vesper would know they have people in high places. Thing too. <laughs> but are they very nice? No. <laughs> Sowing the seeds of discord. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying that I, they I, could be feeding off the stone giants. Well, like they all the stone giants aren't attacking. attacking. <clears throat> but we don't know. Like we can't say that the Zen are in league with the stone giants. No, that's pretty new character. Like, no, that's why it's a hypothesis. Yeah. Is the airship here yet? No. But I'm saying like stone Okay, giants. literally your fight took not even a minute. You got here. You got here in nine minutes. So I'm gonna say it's probably been about thirty minutes. All right. Well, here's like well, here's what I'm going to do. All right. I know that these stone giants are between me and Blockathus. That is why I am here. Now then, if they want to get in front of me, I'll be more than happy to shoot them in the face. That is as much of a plan that I have right now. And really, that's all I really need. If they want to talk, I'll be more than happy to speak to them. We gotta be able to talk to the stone giants now from attacking. Now, if you really think about it as well, before they only really fell, any cloud giant could combine the stone giant. I'm just throwing that out there. And cloud giants do like wealth, such as the Zentarum do. And we do know that Pogalkis himself has gone rogue from the plans of the old father. And that's just hitting the head like a motherfucking animal. All right. <clears throat> this is great. All right, so we got horses, so are we going to beat the ship? I tell this guy, what's the guy that we're going to do his name? Arter Glass. Arter. I tell him that I have sent word to Roland's father to send you aid to help protect the city. From the Order of the Gauntlet. They said they'll send what I they sure. can. Why is this Fadonic Order? I don't know what the Order of Gauntlet is. I mean, That's why I said our rights are not so. the servants of Torn. So they can recognize yeah. that. I tell him, I say, no matter how many he sends, fewer or fewer many, they're all warriors such as hell or greater. You have no problem protecting your city once they arrive. And they won't extort you. Okay, but... How long will that take? A few days, but we're going out. More than a few days. More than a few days. A, few days. Or days. a week, too. Now, I am going to walk directly towards those stones are so you'll have a lovely day. Yep. So, you're going to do what? 
I said I'm walking, my character said I'm walking directly towards the stone giant, so I have a okay. walking day. Well, do you know what the stone giants are? Well, we're getting the Well, airship, call them the mad, one like that. Yeah. yeah. We'll get back on the airship, we should be able to spot them, right? It's all gigantic forest all that's around you guys. Yeah. Hey, you're in a veil right now that's, that's open, and there's forest there's and cool like off. hills yeah. and some mountains. Off? Then you no. got the high forest north of you, and then up to the east Sorry. is like the Great Peak <clears throat> Mountains, and it's just like a huge mountain range. Yeah. And then, if the stone giants are going to be anywhere, there won't be in the mountains. <laughs> or it'll be much harder to spot them. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Well then we'll just get very, very hey, you excited. know what, Lord of the Rings, buddy. We'll just get on horses then, I guess. And you send a message to huh? Delphine. Send a message to her. I want you to put like a can on the ship. She's gonna be pissed. Is she? How do you know? We're like flying over here. She's under our command. No, don't come back. Fly it back. No, you don't have to go. Go back. Let's <laughs> <laughs> what she just said. So are you, are you still want her to come with the ship? Well, if, if yes. we were starting about four, I don't agree. really I'm, see what the point would be. Uh, the reason why we left the ship behind me was because we don't want to... And we're going to just the like a dragon to jump. Well, no, no, no. Okay, where you're at is a veil. It's open land for so many miles around where you're at. Yeah. But it's just north of you is a high forest. Okay. And see, and then where you're here in this veil, this is the high forest. We're at right where the high forest ends. That is all Great Peak Mountains. And so that's where Orbar and Lorcal and, and to Parnass to are. They're all in this mountain area off the high forest. And that's where we need to go, right? Yeah. So you're 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 basically going through perfect camouflage over below you if you were over like flying. Okay. Well, I guess we'll take the horses. Basically, we're going yeah. through the stone giants to find the cloud giants. We already yes, for a horse. Absolutely. Oh, as I walk by that uh, by the guard's body that the I killed, mm -hmm. he is broken like uh, that. Stone giants are hiding him out. I will. Or hiding him out. Well, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to uh, what's the artist. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I will give If the warning uh, was in place, he could command all of them by the warning. Any, yeah. cl any cloud giant I'll command him, any uh, lesser giant. Three platinum pieces. Okay. And tell him to give them to his family. And then I'll give uh, 20 gold pieces as well. Tell him the, uh, sorry that their son. Had to get mixed up in this. Oh shit! And uh, they tell you, it's not gonna bring your son back. It's not gonna protect anybody here. It's not. That's the best I can it's do. It's with me in three levels. He said the best you could have done was to probably just leave us alone. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing. He said, "Yeah, at a desperate time where we have no one to protect us." Protect yourselves. He said, and you came you here claiming to be. My heroes and warriors and protectors of all that are good and then you slay the people that are protecting us and then you're just going to leave us. He said, how is that fair? Right, um, yeah. And you can clearly tell he's very angry at all of this because you're just like, here, here, here's for his family. I mean, all that's going to do is but well, help with a couple of funeral costs and set them up for the rest of life that doesn't get them past the grievances of losing their child, especially their child at a young age. Who likes to bury their parents at a young age? Did you just not tell us a story about how you lost your parents? Yeah. He said, did, did any of this money you have ever fix that? No, it hasn't. Okay, so how's that supposed to help his parents? You can tell he's very, very pissed. He, he said, so you know what? He grabs his coin and he just throws it. I just thought, we don't want your coin. He said, you've done nothing but ruin things for us here. He said, you'll leave and probably within days the giants will come and they'll rain boulders on us and we'll have to flee. And where do we have to flee? Nowhere. How many people can the airship hold? Not enough. Mm -hmm. We can kick off the rain people. <laughs> in a couple days, you have you three, or Boussier have learned to flown it. Roland was too busy, like, I don't trust anybody. Mm -mm. No, no, didn't eat them. They, they were still eating the jerky while you were gone. <laughs> oh, I, I tried every excuse I said not to. We could, we could evacuate the town with the airship, just have them take people somewhere else. And then come to back. where? I mean, let's be realistic here. To where? I don't know. Everything's days out. 
Yeah. They're, they're in the middle of bone folk Egypt. Well, here's the thing. You cover quite a bit of ground in that area. Yeah. How far is they could take this far? Uh, this is like right next to the oh. elves, right? Uh, of the high forest, yes. Could we talk to the elves of the high yeah. forest? You're looking at maybe... Uh, you got to remember, the elves in the high forest hate cloth and they know that that We're not goes. going on the airship. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, there might be a hundred like, miles to the nearest town. <laughs> but we're like right in the high hey, forest. Where was that? Uh, was you're that? in the... Uh, where was that Emerald Enclave at? What, what forest was that at? The it's high forest. The high forest. It's somewhere in the high forest. See, so you got you can talk to the fucking plants. And yeah, so maybe they can ask the Emerald Enclave to come here and help the town with the stone giants. Tell them that the Zip people have took it over the town. Oh, look at this loser! What even wearing it? He's got like whip it out of his pocket. Got whip it out of his pocket. He brings out a couple of pieces now. I cast teleportation gate. Out. <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> it's worth a shot, right? I mean, well, I mean you talk to plants wanna, with it, animals. I want to see if it's possible to have a message oh, that through the forest. Five. Two. Uh, Del Hillary and the Emerald Enclave and see if they could offer You know, it, 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 if you think about it, there's an easier way to do that. Probably. Just ask a plant to pass a message? Not even That's really bad. Oh, okay. You, well, you, you have direct contact. <laughs> she's, I'm, I don't know if she still has spell slots. She's used it three times already. Hey, I'm, I'm just saying. Used used one, for, uh, hey, she's probably used one. Macho Man, do you have any more <laughs> spell slots to hire? Uh, yeah. Can you please uh, contact at Hillary and ask if the Emerald Enclave could help protect the old water from us? Oncoming stone giants. Oh, oh shit. shit! I forgot about that. We do know that, Hillary. Dude, if I had inspiration, <laughs> like, I would give it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all we were talking about while y'all were playing with the damn phones. I have no respect for the game. No, no. no. That's that's the thing is, the thing is <laughs> yeah, motherfuckers. Y'all get negative. He gets plus one. Never mind. I'm not the It was about DM. It was about DD. Okay, so what are you? What are you doing here? I'm gonna talk to. What's uh, the druid at Hillary? Yeah, at Hillary. I'll send her a message because she's our she's our buddy. You know? Yeah, we're, we're friends. With her, we're friends. I'll let her know that these people need help and a lot of water. If she can, control buttons in. Controlled by Yeah, I tell them we ran, he ran as many things as we could out. Them out. Uh, yeah, kick them out. Is it possible if you can send Stone some type of near? Forced to help protect the city until we get our able bodies here from his father's army. That's 2032. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's get a word count okay, here. So I, we just did it with 22. Yeah, we did. Okay, uh, but here's yeah. the thing. You guys are talking. Yeah. He was yeah. talking. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I'm saying we, we got about figured out yeah. all the same. Okay. All right. The loud water. Controlled by Zent. Zent Harlem. Kicked them out. We kicked them out. Stone Giants near. Stone Giant attack imminent. We don't know if they actually want to attack or not, but yeah. Town <coughs> needs protection. Town, could you send aid? Yeah. Okay, so that's what you're sending? Yes. Near, near, near high, uh, sir, I'm pretty sure it's going to work. Do okay, you so you, you send this. Roland sends his regards. <laughs> And a dick pig. Minimal. <laughs> <laughs> don't we use that for backup? Is Project like, well, image. I don't know. <laughs> Project Meyer <laughs> image. <laughs> uh, so you send Project this. Illusory. And uh, you, Luda, you get something that you haven't really felt when you, when you since you've been doing this. Oh, shit. Quiet. Oh, fuck, she's dead. I tell you, I think she's dead. <laughs> and then after about 15 seconds, she says... We'll send elves. The forest will aid. Do not worry. Oh, sweet. Can you, can, what, what, could you wait for the spell to get sent on a face? All of a sudden, hear voices. Ah, ah, she's not dead. She's not dead. Okay, so you can tell, you can tell Mr. Pissy Pants that the elves are coming. Um, she tells you, lastly, meeting with Lord's Alliance soon. Send, have them, oh. have her send my regards to Lord's Alliance. There? Do we need to be there? Mmm. Spell is ended. Yeah. 
When were we ever invited places? We just go I places. Know, okay. I don't get invited. You'll have an soon. Um, to aid with your defenses. Uh, he thanks you. He's like, but who says they'll make it here before the Giants get here? I'm not leaving until they get here. Well, well wouldn't we, we think be going down the same route as the Giants? We're going to <laughs> we're going to where they're coming from. But what if we're wrong and they go a different path? Yeah, okay, what if you go left, they go right? Well, then they're going back to World War. <laughs> no, well, like, okay, say... <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, no, say, joke. like, if you're in the north, you, you take a northern route and they go a southern route, I mean, what if there's a tunnel around here? Giants like, of tunnels? Technically, <laughs> they're, they're stone I'm giants. They live stone, in caves and stuff. A real stone giant will come out from the Underdark. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying... Yeah, so, uh, okay, so Luda, you plant your foot down. You're staying until City. eight arrives. Yep. What about the rest of you guys? I'm right there with her. I agree. I'll stay and protect the town to the best of my ability. Lord? Stay until the elves get her? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'm getting on the fucking airship. I didn't hear you yet. You start to see it in the distance approach. <laughs> <laughs> so, Vesper, what are you doing? You staying here? I'm going to the airship. So you're gonna spend your days on the airship. Being right? pissy. Yeah, being pissy. You salty ass bitch. <laughs> All right. So I hope it burns. <laughs> um, Not in more Vesper comment. Has been you got nine days until aid will arrive. I'm not sure what you plan on doing. Obviously, Vesper's gonna be pissy on the airship. I assume. Yeah. Um, or is gonna try to talk you out of this. Because unlike you and your parents, when the Zent did what they did to you, these people are no different. You you should have sympathy towards these people. He did. I mean, no even even if they were, I mean, even if they were protecting them, I mean, it's not like they know any different. It's kind of like your family. Because at yeah, first they yeah. did really help you all out, and give you exactly. all the money. Exactly. Yeah, but again. I still hate my father for that. Honestly, you know, I'm just saying, it's like, personal issue, though. But yeah, that's that's my daddy issues. Issues. <laughs> I mean, you know, mommy I mean, issues. I mean, your, 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 issues. Your, your personal issue to these people doesn't outweigh really, the many here. I mean, is it really your dad's fault? Well, this is a greedy prick to begin with. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Your dad never did him back. So she's going to attempt to try to persuade you to, you know, show these people that, you know, there are people out here better than the Zen for them. You know, don't be like this. Because really, what victory is that to you after you've ran them out of this town? I, I tell her, I hope the Zen come back and burn this town. You, so how long you're not getting OVCA none. Leaves, <laughs> leaves you're not getting none. You said very early things. We're having our first big fight. Yeah, you said <laughs> early your first big fight. You've had five. This might be the first big one. Or what are you going to do in these nine days? I don't know. Um, they did fight over that grizzly dick. <laughs> I'm going to start though. making defenses around town, proper dwarven defenses, okay. making arms and armor, whatever I can. So a Elwin built town with dwarven defenses sounds. Fuck yeah! Sounds awesome. There's gonna be a thunder cannon on a gate on a front door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and the thunder cannon is still awesome. So this was gonna be mounted. Okay, so you're gonna help kind of build defenses yeah. and whatnot. What about you, Roland? Uh, I understand that people are still scared. And What's up? There's one thing we know is it's how to I'm fight up the uh, giants. I can to keep the people calm and assure, here. assure yeah, them help us on the way. Down. We're going to be here to tell no, the enforcement we'll to arrive, protect them. Under with us. Oh, oh, basically, I'm doing crowd control. control. Roll me persuasion. Uh, yeah. yeah. You're fucking that off. She's my servant. She has to. It's a 17. All right. That's enough to really start to get people to understand that you're doing the right thing. You know, these people were very unaware of what was going on, and things are going to get better for them. You do a very good job of keeping the crap, the peace, you know, making people raise their hopes and stuff. Luda, what about you? You said there's a bunch of injured people here. I want to make sure all these people are up to 100% before the nine days is up. Okay, I'm probably probably help you with that. Yep. Yeah. Me. Any like, off time, besides if I'm not healing, I want to get with the, the, if they have any kind of counsel here of people, 
and I'm going to show them what's going on around the world, around this place that they don't know about. We kind of talked about a few things, but I'm going to show them the, you know, the giant attacks and the ogre attacks and the dragon attacks. Just to let them know that even it's though there's all, stone all giants the here, that I just did your camera. Yeah, no, this was it. <laughs> no, the count. So he's doing it. He's doing it very bard like. Yeah. And telling tales. And I'm going to tell them tales of you know what our what we fought back, what we haven't fought back. And just let them know that there's stone giants Don't say here. Well, we haven't fought back. <laughs> I'm just letting them know there is stone giants here that could attack you, but there is way Don't bigger threats. Um, and <laughs> that's what we're bad. trying to handle. It's not nearly as bad. Looking. And that's why sometimes we're off. We're, you know, like that stuff. That's trying to tell her. That's why Vesper sometimes goes off the hinges. We've been through some shit. I mean, giants is one thing, but when you've got dragons. She got swallowed whole by a bloody remora. So what that is? It's a, a 30 foot long giant city. You sound like that. Breathing you fire. Been a, you went you, you to a bar, and there's always that one bar fly. And they always complain about everything, and they're always there drinking. That's what Luda is right now. Just sit there, and this is bad, and this and this could get worse, but it's still bad. <laughs> you know, the whole time yeah. he thinks he's in a council chamber. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the whole world, everything's going out of shit. They're out of the council. Roll me, what do you mean? Roll me and persuasion. Roll me like, persuasion. I got persuasion, kind of. No. Put uh, your dick out of persuasion. Uh, oh, yeah, that's Christmas base. Uh, that is a... Uh, Fifteen altogether. Okay, between okay. you and Roland, you guys two. have done a really good job of keeping the peace. Do you want to bonus points for telling the story of Vesper and Swallow and Tolar or Morals? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bonus points. All right. Vesper. So maybe they don't roll me a D six. If you roll high, high, or Bustier spends the, the last eight days off the ship, and you're there by Ooh. yourself. What what? I told you it's a one. Oh no. She's with Ori. She's feeling sympathy for you. Walls. Oh. This is why I say hi. Oh. She rolls high, she leaves. Oh, they say if she rolls high, she stays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She rolls oh. this time. So, he, she's feeling your sympathy. It's she rigged. understands. It's a freak dice. It's a freak dice. <laughs> there ain't no fix on that. Okay, so within uh, nine, oh. <laughs> within nine days, uh, Sourpuss stays up in the ship. Are uh, you still eating the rations in the ship? Fuck you. Okay, so to be everybody honest. needs to roll me three. You guys need to roll me three for two well, times. Because this is from, you've been here a couple I'm days. I'm still eating my own rations. Yeah, it's <laughs> well, from the eating the rations. Oh, I've been patronizing the tavern. But the, I'm, I'm backtracking a little. Oh, okay. I thought we already did that. One. Oh, oh, That's a failure. Crit failed again. <laughs> Oh shit. Constance? Yeah, Constance. Okay, keep going. 17? Uh, Nat 20, 12, and 10. And 10. 19, 20, 21, 21. Okay. This isn't as funny anymore. I just fucked with you guys the whole time, but it's not even funny now. I figured it was. <laughs> that first time, though, you guys were worried. We were, man. We were like, oh fuck, man. All right. Within a couple no, days, uh, yeah. what? <laughs> uh, maybe, Roland, you've got to take in some training to some people. You know, trying to help Possibly, people, you know. You know people you do me down. my daily training, probably or something. And, you know, wards of uh, helping people build, you know, defenses. Sourpuss is being a sourpuss in the ship. Do you have the ship above the ground? Do you yeah. have them just floating around in a circle or We're just fierce. Yeah, they're giants. Why does that make them feel that they have an airship protecting them? We just, I just, they don't because she's Sour Grapes is hell from the high force over yeah. here. So they, they, they think she's at her, you know. And there's a flying fucking claw ship up above this place. Well, my thing is that I, I didn't want it to be here to begin with. You're going to call it the fuck back. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to shoot this thing down. Let them. Good. Dude. Yeah. Good I yeah. would think so. She said the elves from the high force. They're way they hate, up high. They hate claw. They're going to see this thing fly and they have things Boy, in the city. That's funny. Yeah, that looks magic. Yeah, All right, so in nine days, hey, roll me a D4. A D4? A D4. D4. You get two defensives built on the east side of town because that's where my assumes giants would actually awesome. come from. Um, but in nine days, you do get a handful of elves. They bring some treants with them. I think some animals shit. to help defend the town. Do the order make it up here? Not in this time. No, actually, well, they're they're me about looking the at the map, yeah. There, yeah, I mean, just on horseback, it's a long trip. Yeah, you're you're looking at longer than your trip to Waterdeep. 
on, on, well, on a caravan. It's pretty far. Um, like what, two months? So, you guys are going to go to Oral Bar, even though you found that it was destroyed, or what are you doing? No. Or are you just going to Parnass? Because, you I mean, you did find out the first two towns are destroyed. I don't think it's really going to be the town itself that we're looking for. But maybe yeah, we're looking for a cloud drive. Maybe some or somewhere he's hiding in the mountains, in the air. Or in the sky. Area. So, you guys are going that way. Well, just we gotta, yeah, we're just going along. Oh, we're taking the ship? If he's in the cloud, we have an airship. Okay. There's another two hour fight okay. rolling yeah. back on the ship. Yeah, airship. <laughs> Uh, airship or on foot? That's Just, what I'm asking them. What do you uh, we were going to go on foot. Well, that was I'm the result of that. I think we need to go on foot because we talked about the airship right. flying over on enemy foot. territory. Okay, so. Well, we're shot we're down. Down. And we paid a shit ton for that damn horse. Horses. Well, I got some of that go back. Horses? You're going to hide that go oh. back. I go I ahead and we decided we're going to have to ride on foot. foot. So we <laughs> stopped at Tiberius and for the that first time, I work with a fucking I introduced him to Galahad. I can't be sad. That's right. That's not here yet. That's not here yet. This is an hour. I got something to play out for that. All right. All right. So, on foot, down the road. Oh, we're on horseback. Well, yeah. On foot compared to air. You're still on foot. 